In this video, we'll take a look at the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus CH3COOH. That's sodium carbonate plus acetic acid. Sometimes you'll see acetic acid written like this. They're the same thing. It's just a different way to write it. So we'll use this right here in this video, but these are the same thing. When we do this equation here, this sodium carbonate and acetic acid, this H2CO3, this carbonic acid, it actually breaks down. So what we end up with is this right here. So instead of having just the H2CO3, we'll put this here. So this will be the end result of the equation. When we write net ionic equations, the first thing is we balance the molecular equation. If you were to balance this equation, you'd have a two as your coefficient here and a two here. So this would balance the equation. Once you've balanced the equation, you need to write the states. Sodium carbonate, sodium compounds, very soluble, put an AQ after it. And then acetic acid, it does dissolve in water. So we do write aqueous, but it doesn't break apart like a strong acid or a strong base. So something like sodium hydroxide, that'll dissociate completely. It's a strong base or HCl, a strong acid. This stays together, although it does dissolve. So we write the aqueous, we need to remember it's a weak acid. Sodium acetate, that will dissolve, that's aqueous. Carbon dioxide is a gas and water is a liquid. So we have our states in this net ionic equation. Next, we need to split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. So we need to know the charge. Sodium on the periodic table, that has a one plus charge. And the carbonate, you should memorize that, that has a two minus ionic charge for the whole CO3. We said that although this is aqueous, it's a weak acid, it's not gonna split apart. It's gonna stay together. Sodium, we said was plus. And then this is the acetate ion. And if you don't know that, you could look that up. And we could find the acetate ion right here. It has a negative sign after it, which makes sense, positive and negative, they cancel out. CO2 is a gas, water is a liquid. We don't split gases and liquids up in net ionic equations. All right, so now we can split up the strong electrolytes. We have Na+, plus, but that little subscript down there says we have two of those. So we'll put a coefficient of two. Plus, we have CO3, 2 minus, that's that carbonate ion. Then we have the acetic acid, CH3, COOH. And because we have a coefficient of 2 in front of it, we need to put that here as well. So those are the reactants. And I won't write the states until the end. For our products, we said that Na is going to dissociate. That has that aqueous plus, we have two of those plus we have CH3, COO minus the acetate ion, and this two applies to everything, so we have two of those, plus CO2 plus H2O. So this is the complete ionic equation. It includes everything. We've split up the strong electrolytes and we've left things like weak acids, gases, and liquids together. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. These are things that are the same on both sides. So here on the reactants, I have 2Na. In the products, I also have 2Na. Cross them out. CO3, 2 minus, nope. CH3, COOH, I don't have that. These two are very different. So pretty much this is the net ionic equation. So let me clean it up. I'll remove these and I'll add the states in and we'll see what that net ionic equation looks like. And this is the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus CH3COOH, sodium carbonate plus acetic acid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.